It's a funny question to ask is, uh, could a robot ever give a hug? And uh, I don't mean, could it intend to, would it have the volitional or mental capacity to give a hug? I mean, do we not understand something about the nature of bodies and ontogenetic coupling? Do we fail to understand what it means to be a body that can touch and be touched by another body and what that means for bodies. I teach class in interpersonal communication and think a lot about nonverbal communication and I think nonverbal communication has been taken over by visual meanings. People now when they think of nonverbal they think of things seen, facial expressions or perhaps images here that we can watch but they don't seem to realize that there is a bodily contact level of communication that's part of language. It's something as simple as touching someone while you're speaking with them rather than just speaking with them, but it's more than that. I mean, I think we've all heard stories of how Hitler wouldn't have been Hitler if he'd had more hugs when he was a kid. Uh, there's something that's quite funny about that. Um, how comfortable are you with silence? How comfortable are you with your family in family gatherings during moments of silence? There are great differences from culture to culture, from family to family, but people who have a strong, healthy sort of grounding in their body, who feel themselves to be their body, I think they're more comfortable with silence. They're more comfortable with the kinesthetic realm, the somatic realm of who they are. People who are uncomfortable with being a body, people who are disembodied, who live in the visual world, are subject to fantasies about ideas and about the visual world and it's it comes from not being in enough contact with others from having contact with others think of the works of like people like Morris Berman in his book The Basic Fault or I got Harvey Sarles book here um, a student of Ray Birdwhistle the the way that when we interact with others we not only speak with them, we touch them. Now here in the United States it's a problem. There's some sort of, it has everything to do with, it's like private property, homophobia, weird uh, senses of possession and lines of boundaries. We're not a very touching culture. When you look at other cultures around the world, so many other cultures are much more touching they hold, men hold hands, men walk arm in arm. Here in the U.S., if men are touching each other, it's maybe a handshake during a, a business deal, but it's largely like an, an athletic context where they're uh, interacting in some physical, forceful way. The notion of, of spending time in contact with another, I, I think there is some fear that it may be partly eroding in the culture with the onslaught of more and more digital and visual communication. When you, again, when people think of nonverbal, they seem to think of visual, not somatic and kinesthetic and tactile. That itself is very interesting. I think people should ask themselves, do they feel touch? Have they been touched t today? Have you touched a loved one, someone who is an intimate to you? I mean, I think there's a great issue of propriety. It's hard to deal in a world where you don't touch, probably partly because more and more of us are s surrounded by strangers. We're surrounded in a functional anonymity that makes it inappropriate to touch some people. I think it's interesting that when the fax machine first came and the fax machine had that little recognition of reception, that little sound it made, it was called a handshake. Yeah, it signified the end of handshakes. I mean, simultaneously in the culture, as the facts were sent back and forth, I think we find less and less young people today feel comfortable giving a handshake to a friend. I wonder how many people are l losing more and more physical contact. Um, some people, when they're young, they crawl around on their elders. They, they hug their parents a lot. They lay around on their grandparents' and parents' laps. And uh, people nuzzle up, nuzzling. The notion that organisms, I mean, many organisms lick one another. They nuzzle one another. I think the more that we move toward the body, 
as a capacity for an ontogenetic coupling, for a communicative value of becoming consubstantial through forms of contact and touch, and how that's calibrated into the use of speech. People need to understand that nonverbal communication is more than visual communication. There is a seemingly a kind of an eclipse of the world of touch. Please look around at your own life. Ask yourself, how is touch being eroded or not? Are there loved ones who you really ought to be hugging right now? 